Hey guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today planning in my recipe planner. And I am not prepared. I don't see the pen that I want to use. Um, I do have this pen. Um, this is my Simply Gilded gel pen. It is a point five tip. It is black ink. This is what I use for the body. I don't see the pen that I use because my desk is a mess. Um, but I use Paper Mate Inkjoy Gel Pen in the point seven to write out the titles. Yeah, it's just like completely gone. Did I bring it upstairs? All right, it's just not here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this pen for everything. So this is a holiday recipe. That's what I've been trying to do um, basically for since the beginning of November. So I'm going to use the ink. The, 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 nope, this is a simply yielded pen to write in the title. So give me a second so I don't uh, mess up. All right, so we've got the title written down. Um, this is a very old recipe for me. I do have the original recipe card that I had been using. Um, it's a, actually on like a glossy. Um, I don't want to say photo glossy, but it's it's not matte. So my ballpoint pens weren't working. My gel pens weren't working. This is actually a Sharpie. So yeah, that's why I wanted to get out of using the recipe cards and into using the recipe planner. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by getting the ingredients written down and then I will come back and just kind of take stock of what's going on before we do the prep steps. All right, so we've got the ingredients all written down. Um, so really quick, just in case you, I don't necessarily always have the best handwriting, but it's one loaf of white bread cubes, an eight ounce block of cream cheese, eight eggs. Um, in all of my recipes, whenever you see a capital C, that's cups, lowercase t is teaspoon, capital T is tablespoon. So half a cup of milk, two third, one and a half cups of milk, two thirds a cup of half and half, half a cup of maple syrup, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I decided not to start writing on this top line and give myself space so that I can end up putting down some washi tape. So I think before we get into the decorating, let's see, how many steps are there? All right, sometimes I will put washi tape in between the lines of each of my steps, but I don't think I'm going to do that. And I haven't decided if I'm actually gonna do flags or not, so I think what I'm just gonna do is go ahead and write this down and then use my washi tape to decorate in the spaces that I have left. Um, that's one of the things that's important to me is making sure that like, this is functional, it has the recipe down. And then if I can decorate it, then I decorate it after the fact because it's more important to have the recipe. So let me get my steps down and see what we have left space-wise to work with for decorating. All right, so we've got all of this down. Serves, let's get this down. So I actually think that this probably could serve depending on like the sizes and everything six to eight people um depending like i said depending on how many slices that they take ingredients main ingredients so for this so okay when i do my recipe planners bread and eggs um under main ingredients i like to put down whatever type of a dish this is so like say like it's a chicken dish obviously i'll put chicken but let's say that like I'm, I'm looking through my pantry, I'm like, I have a lot of this ingredient. Is there something that I can make with this? And I can just kind of flip through like, okay, I need something chickeny. And then I flip, 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 and then I'll say, oh, hey, hey, look, it's a chicken dish. So just kind of what I have over here. So like if I have a lot of bread on hand, I'm like, I need to do something with all this bread. Boom, I've got this. Although this isn't quite uh, a boom, let's make this type of a thing. So prep time. Um, I mean, it's 20 minutes of actual prep and then another 30 because it's standing on the counter. So yeah, and then cook time, it's actually going to cook for 30 minutes. 
So this takes in the morning an hour before you can actually eat it. Temperature is 375. Now, the reason why we're doing this is this is our Christmas morning dish. So every night, or not every night, every year on Christmas Eve, I sit and I make this, get it all together, put it in the fridge so that on Christmas morning, we all wake up once things kind of settle initially from coming downstairs, seeing all the gifts. The kids are always so excited. Oh my God, I love Christmas morning. It's so wonderful. Um, we make our pot of coffee and then pull this out to sit on the counter. Now, here's the thing. It does have to sit on the counter for 30 minutes. So yeah, very important that it sits on the counter. So this whole let's stand on counter for 30 minutes because otherwise the glass like it could it could end up breaking. Like it it's not good to go from refrigerator straight into 375 degrees. You never want to take something from freezing cold like that, not freezing cold obviously because it's refrigerated cold, but you get the point. From really cold to really hot because like nothing is meant to change temperatures like that that quickly so very important to let it stand um oh my gosh it's just so exciting i cannot believe that christmas is so close oh my god i could oh my gosh i could like die right now oh i forgot about these so these are my free samples not free samples but like you know the freebies Okay, well, though those two won't work. Um, from Giving Girl, from the orders and the oops bags that I got. These are really, I mean, it's gold foil, and I was kind of leaning towards silver and hollow, but I might just mix metals. I don't know. So, yeah, let's get into decorating. So, I've got plenty of washi tape, and like I said, I'm leaning towards silver and hollow, although I think all of this is hollow foil. So hollow, short for holographic. Um, if this was silver, I would use it, but that's actually gold. So I'm not going to use it. And then, yeah, we've got these. Okay, so these are all from Simply Gilded, and I do have a link down below if you've never shopped with her before so you can get a discount. Um, I have, in all of my videos, I always post all of my either coupon codes or... Um, referral links just so that you can easily find them so if you ever like hey does Brittany have a coupon I can use you can check literally any of my videos so that you can see um because they are always there so these rainbow stardust came in its own thing these came in the latest sub box for celebration and then these came from the sun washed paradise so I'm not gonna use the blue and the tan though I it's not like it's a bluish green so it doesn't quite go with this but these are the colors that I'm going to use I think I'm really gonna like this so I just don't know what I'm going to actually do all right here's what we're gonna do I'm definitely going to be using a 15 millimeter here and here so let's see if I like how the rainbow looks because if not, then I will just pivot to just pink and foil. But I think this will look really pretty. So I do this quite a bit. It's one of my favorite ways to dress up my, my recipe planner. Is I put washi tape right here and take it across. And we're going to use my Fiskars blade. So you put your finger right through here. And then this is just an old Sam's Club card because we don't have a Sam's Club membership anymore. I don't think we have one where we live now. Um, I don't know if we have any of the bulk things anymore. But we definitely don't have a Sam's Club membership anymore. So I use this card because I have like really destroyed it from doing this. So it's fine. But we are going to slice out around the box. 
So I just want to make sure that I don't go too far. There we go. Yeah, and I am going to take it right here. There we go. I actually probably could have, oh well. Oh, hey, look, now I can actually see, oh, see what I'm doing. And that's why I use a card I don't care about because I just sliced it. Um, if you have a metal ruler, that would work too. But I, I don't, so I just use this. And I think what I'll do is I'll take it to here. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm taking it further than I think I want it to go. Oh, nope. That's exactly where I wanted it to go. Okay. So let's just make sure that this is all the way out. And then I use the blade to actually help me get underneath the washi tape to peel it off. There we go. And there, now it just kind of pops and I do think I like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'll be back in a minute, just, yeah. All right, so we've got that done. And now I think what I'm gonna do is I actually think I'm going to do my little crisscrossy thing that I do in a lot of my spreads in here, um, just because I like it. So I'm gonna do it. So I only have the 15 millimeters. So there's different sizes, I'm sorry. These big ones are 15 millimeters. Okay, just so that you can see them all. And then these are 10 millimeters. And then these skinny ones are five. Now you know. So I'm going to take this one. Hmm. I think I actually want to do it this way. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use... No, I will. I'll just use it. Because I don't think I'm going to use it because it's... Like, it ombres to white and it's very faint. So what we'll do is I will start off with one of the 15s because this one will actually do a better job of covering it up. So we'll do that. All right, so that's where we're going to end this angle. And I think I am going to have to slice it. So hopefully I don't mess this up. Let's see if I can get these to stand up. There we go. I think we're, we're in business. I don't think we're actually in business, but I'm trying to be positive here.
All right, so we've got that. Oh my God, I I love it. All right, I really wanted to try to make the, I lost it, the 15 millimeter pink stardust happen. I just never had the space for it. So kind of a bummer, but, and there's not enough space up there for it. But I do have space up here that I could do a 10 millimeter. And I think just to try to keep it consistent. Did I have 10 millimeter pink? I do have the pink bows. That's right. I think I'm just going to put that up at the top because that kind of anchors it because that's what I have down at the bottom. So I'm going to put it up here at the top and anchor it. I think just so that there's not like too much of the rainbow and can you really have too much rainbow though? I don't know. Yeah, I probably could have done the 15 millimeter and cut that out, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, and I'm gonna rip the washi instead of cutting it because I already have the safety back one and I don't want to, I just don't wanna have to undo it. So you've seen me all video cutting washi with my fist screws blade, but you can also just rip it. So you just line this up and then rip, like pull up the washi to give it a rip. So yeah, I like that. It kind of keeps it nice and light up top. Stay down. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know. I actually don't know if I like the rainbow here. I'm just going to leave it though. Um, cause I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it. And I don't think any of these colors ended up going, but I had some flags. I don't think they're actually going to go, though. Most of the flags that I got are gold and rose gold, which is what I use. I don't usually use silver, so I don't usually order silver. But yeah, that is going to do it for this recipe spread. I'm so excited to have this on Christmas morning. Um, just, we found it the one year, and we've been having it for, like, I think five or six years, except last year when I forgot to make it the night before and I went to go and get it out of the fridge in the morning and didn't have it so that was really devastating to me I felt so terrible that whole I was so sick last year if you've stuck around I had bronchitis and didn't know it um I was trying to do everything I had messed so much up and then I took nighttime cough medicine in the morning and ended up sleeping a good chunk of Christmas so yeah, we didn't have this last year, so I'm really looking forward to having it this year because it's it's a tradition. A lot of our Christmas traditions, just giving you a foil wiggle, a lot of our Christmas traditions um, center around food. So this is the morning dish and I can't wait. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram over there. I am at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.